This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion whole test, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's 1st of July 2021. The Mariano's free terrain module has just come out. We've all got it because it's free. We've had some complaints that the performance in terms of FPS is very bad, especially for the size of the map. The aim of this video is to A collect data from my guys and from you the valued viewers you will be active community participants if you are watching this here gather data and try and find out what the problem is and how we can improve it we think we've stumbled what the solution is and we're going to try and prove that today and with the data that you can give us back so first of all let's look at the constants for today in terms of what you'll see in this video cap simba and pineapples will be testing hello boys hello Hello. Here is each guy's system. Don't worry too much about the details. This isn't actually that important, but Pineapples is Ryzen 5 5600X, 32 gigabytes DDR or RAM, M2 SSD, RTX 3070, no overclock on 2K resolution. Simba is i7 processor, 2060 RTX Super, 30 gigabytes RAM, Oculus Quest 2. So here's VR, Pineapples and Cap and non-VR. No overclocking with a resolution of 3700 by 1900 90 hertz, whatever that means. Cap is an AMD 5900X, I think, a 3080 graphics card, 32 gigabytes DDR4. No overclocking is what that means. Um, 2K resolution. Again, that's just for rough purposes. Don't worry too much about that. We are not comparing to each other. What we are doing is showing that we've got different systems and we are comparing with and without the shadows, which is what we think is the problem here, guys. Okay, so let's go and collect data and tell the valid viewers how they can join in this experiment at home. First, let's look at our system options from the main menu here and then go to system. All this stuff, just leave it however you've got it. I don't think it matters that much. The thing we've homed in on that we think is the main problem is for this map, two boxes, shadows here and terrain object shadows here. We're pretty sure that these two options are actually linked. They are, should we say, not mutually exclusive. So we're gonna first try this with shadows full, we're gonna call it, okay? And that means shadows high here and terrain object shadows default. OK, this is what we're going to say is our average setting of what most of you will probably have, including myself and the guys. You'll probably want to turn VSync off for this experiment. That's all we need to know. Any other setting, keep it however you want. OK, next, I will provide a mission.mis file in the video description. Please go and download it and install it. Next, all of us are going to go to mission editor. We're going to open up that MIS file. Open. It's going to be called Mariana's FPS Rev 1. We've got two planes on what we consider the busiest part of the main island. It's the worst FPS drop we can find. An F-16 and an SU-25. You've all got the SU-25, so you can all do the SU-25 bit. If you've got the F-16, please join in and do the F-16 as well. I want you guys, the value viewers, to follow exactly what we're doing here and post your results exactly as we do in the video description. Please don't do your own thing. Do exactly as we do or don't do it at all. Please do not change anything in the mission options. That is how I've said it. That's how I want it. Do not change anything in the weather. That's how I've said it. That's how I want it. Just click run there. Single player only, not multiplayer. In each aircraft, value viewers, make sure you set active pause button active pause button that is not the same as pause there's a big difference as soon as you get in the cockpit and it's unpaused you will press active pause to pause it stand by as i do that myself so watch this stop okay turn off your track ir so you will lock it into the central position so we're all looking in the same direction that's extremely important best thing just turn track ir off at that point if you've got vr just look forward and and you know that's the best i can do in terms of zoom, if you've got the ability to zoom in, do not zoom in at all. Keep at the basic zoom level, which will be that. At this point, we're all looking at exactly the same thing. Next, press right control and pause. And you can see you get FPS at the top. I'm getting an average of 50 FPS. For me, that's very low. I'm just going to write this uh, data as I go down. Can we have uh, pineapples? 42. Wow, we're really getting beat up by this, aren't we? Simba. 19. Wow, that is what we call not playable value viewers. Guys, switch over to uh, SU-25 repeat process, please. I've got break 51 average. I've got one more FPS. 46. you got a bit of an increase. That's good. Simba. 20. 20. So we all had a small increase. Great, guys. Next, everyone back to, uh, you know, back to the main menu back into options, back into system. So we're gonna change our shadows here to flat only on shadows and 
you must also do terrain object shadows flat. Regardless of all the other options, do not copy me. Please just use whatever you want. You guys have set up how you want it. That's fine. Okay, now go to OK. And now go and repeat the process. So in we go. Load the map up. Right, everything locked in an identical position. I've got break 62 FPS. 62. That is about a 20% increase. Pineapple. 3. That is the same. It's about 20% increase. Simba. 24. 24. It's a 20% increase. So everything is empirical and good so far. Everyone switch over to the other plane, please. I'm 68. Uh, next guy. 63. Six. Wow, you've got a massive increase from. Massive increase, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nearly, that's about 45% increase just by changing shadows. I've never seen a bigger gain than that. Simba. 23. 23. That's sad. I wonder why yours is so bad. You've definitely done both sets of shadows, yeah? Yep. Okay, but it is what it is, guys. All systems work differently. They have different bottlenecks, and it's way above my pay grade. It's clever guys out there can uh, do uh, work out a percentage increase. I think I might do it myself, actually, in a minute. But you can see there, we've got massive increases. As well as that, it also removes, if I just fly here, a certain type of jerkiness. So ignore the FPS for a second. As well as FPS, you get jerkiness. I don't know what it actually is, but it's something in the feel of the plane that doesn't feel right. It seems to remove that for me, uh, uh, and, and it's going give, to give you that overall... Uh, global increase so that guys is going to give you just about everyone out there it looks like about 20 to 40 percent increase in fps without losing really anything i can guarantee none of you will notice the difference between what was it high shadows and it seems to be the trees we think it's the trees that are doing it of course there are other things you change other things and you can get two percent here five percent there five percent here but that's the biggest thing we can find you, you can't really tell the difference between high and low or high and flat can yeah you? No. there's nothing really to, to look at what's it look like in vr no real change and right. one thing for the viewers to know is like vr like i i know it sounds like i'm running crappy when i say 20 frames per second but that's 20 frames per second per eye so it's really like double so i'm really getting like 40 to 46 and like I said, you guys, the value viewers, come back to us with your table of data. Do exactly like I've said, because this is a community project. This is not just us. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.